Many large companies are international, and therefore must buy and sell their goods in other currencies. Accepting payments in foreign currencies and then converting them to the US dollar is not typically something that investors are concerned about or even consider, but it can affect stocks, and ultimately, your portfolio. So what is a foreign currency? A foreign currency is any currency that is not a US dollar. This includes monies such as euros, rubles, yens, the Canadian dollar, Mexican pesos, etc. Countries tend to use different currencies as it's not only a way for them to control their economy, but it allows them to stay competitive when buying commodities and such. Another common phrase that you might have heard of is Forex. Forex is short for foreign exchange, which is basically the stock market but for currencies. Traders and investors can use leverage to make large gains if one currency makes a move to become just a few cents more valuable than another. Typically, only large institutional investors trade foreign currencies in order to hedge other investments. Trading currencies in hopes to make recurring profit is extremely speculative. Take for example the US dollar to Japanese yen. If you were to invest in company X, who is based in the United States but does the majority of their business in Japan, their profits in Japanese yen could be the exact same every year, but could vary widely in US dollars. Take a look at this chart that shows the exchange rate between the US dollar and Japanese yen over the past year. You can see that the current ratio sits at $139.30. This means that 1 US dollar is equal to 139 yen. Because the US dollar to yen was at 113 a year ago, and is now at 139, the yen has lost about 20% of its value to the US dollar over the past year. Let's just say that company X holds its cash reserves in Japanese yen until a month before they need to convert the cash to US dollars whether it's for paying stockholders dividends, buying product based in the US, or for other reasons. If company X had a million dollars in cash a year ago, and haven't added or pulled any money from their reserves until today, they would have lost $200,000 just because of the forex exchange rate. If the company wanted to use that initial million dollars for dividends, investors would now receive just 80% of what they were to initially receive because company X held their cash in a currency that is losing its value. Although the yen lost 20% of its value to the US dollar, it doesn't mean that it is necessarily the same for other currencies. Take the British pound to the Japanese yen for example. This foreign exchange rate looks completely different over the past year. The yen first gained 17% value to the British pound before losing 25% from the forex exchange rate lows. Although over the course of a year, the yen lost just 10% to the British pound. HP Inc. is a great example of a company that does lots of business overseas, and therefore sees a lot of profits and losses due to fluctuating exchange rates. As you can see from this statement within HP Inc.'s annual report, they dedicate a whole section to risks involved with foreign currencies and their exchange rate risk. Just in this section alone, foreign currencies was mentioned 19 times. In this other clip from their risk section, they talk more about forex exchange rate risk, and also the strategies they implement to help reduce these risks. As shown in the text, HP Inc. attempts to hedge potential losses associated with foreign currency exchange rate risks, just the same as institutional investors that we were talking about earlier in this video. Of course, trading foreign currencies, even if it's to hedge your bets, can lead to losses, and it only gets harder as the amount of different currencies you do business with gets higher. HP for example transacts business in over 40 currencies worldwide. Here is a screenshot of HP Inc.'s 2021 annual financial statement. You can see just below the statement, there is more information including how forex exchange rates affected their revenues. You can see that HP Inc. benefited from doing business outside of the US the previous year as they saw favorable foreign currency impacts. This is huge for a company like HP as 41 of the $63 billion in revenue is done outside of the United States. Because HP saw a favorable foreign currency impact they received more revenue, a higher profit, and can pay higher dividends to investors or reinvest the extra money into the company, both of which will increase the value of HP Inc. and your portfolio if you hold this stock. As you've learned from the video, foreign currencies impact stocks based in the United States. The more business a company does overseas, the more they are exposed to forex exchange risks. Because of this, as an investor, it is important to research the potential gains and losses that could be seen from investing in a company that does business overseas, and is especially important to do so if the company does the majority of its business overseas like HP Inc. does. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with market news. Thanks for watching and stay informed.